welcome back to my channel. So this evening after I come back inside from playing football with the kids, I started doing some household chores and hopped on Instagram. And I saw where Amber Portwood was live yesterday, late last night, um, for about an hour. So I decided, well, why not watch it? It was a little bit of a long live, but I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, watched the entire thing. She was asked a lot of questions and she gave some answers. Now, most of the people on the live stream was very supportive of Amber, very positive. Occasionally, she would have someone make a rude comment or put something kind of like silly up and she would like read them and she would tell the person then, like, hey, you're here for the wrong reason. I'm not feeding into the negativity. And if you want to come here to be negative, you might as well get off and go somewhere else because it's not happening here. There was one person that even talked about um, like suicide. Someone said like people that commit suicide, they are cowards and they're not thinking about their self or their family because they're gonna go to hell and they'll never see their family again. And I'm just gonna say this, suicide is a very, very delicate um, subject. So I don't even like talking about it on my channel really. And Amber basically told the, this person that she was confused as to why they would put that on her live stream in the comments and that she th felt that it was rude and that the person had no business saying anything like that. Now, I think the reason maybe, and I'm not saying the person should have said it, but as you guys know, when Amber was arrested, Andrew did say that Amber attempted suicide by, you know, swallowing a whole bunch of pills. Someone did ask Amber, like, hey, when are you going to tell the truth about what happened? At which Amber said, I have told the truth. Now, we have not seen her interview that's coming up on the Team Mom reunion. It is coming up. Now, as of time of this video we haven't seen it this is sunday night so we'll be watching it tomorrow night live but as of right now we don't know what she's going to say there all we know is what we um heard on from the police reports when the accident actually happened and at that time she denied chasing andrew with a machete and she also denied the suicide attempt she only admitted to hitting him with a shoe so I, I'm thinking maybe that's where the person decided to like bring up suicide is due to, you know, the rumors that that had happened on the night that she was arrested. She seemed to be doing really good. She was like very calm, relaxed. Someone asked her where she was and she was like, you guys know I can't tell you where I am. But someone even said that she seemed too relaxed. They was like, you seem too calm, too relaxed. I hope you're not on drugs. And she did not take too kindly to that comment. She was like, I'm not slurring my words. Um, you know, I don't seem high in any way. Um, I'm perfectly fine. Like, I'm not high, you guys. And I don't appreciate that type of comment. Someone asked, would she be going to rehab? At which she said, I don't need rehab. She said she has her doctor. I don't remember if she said psychologist or psychiatrist. I think she actually said she has her psychiatrist that she still sees. And she is now doing karate. She said she went from doing the kickboxing to where now she's actually participating in karate. And that is like a good outlet for her to really help her you know, kind of keep her mind clear. She also talked about meditating. Now, there was so many questions. It was hard for me to really keep up with it, but I was trying to read the comments, keep up with what was being said. And people asked, you know, how the kids were doing. They asked, asked about Gary being a cop. And someone said that it's really cool that Gary and Christina could still stand behind Amber. At that point, Amber said, Yes, it's very awesome that they stand behind me and there's a reason they are standing behind me. She said, you guys can kind of figure it out while, they're while they are standing behind me. And to me, I think that she's basically implying Christina and Gary would only stand behind her if they felt like maybe she was in the right or she had like a reason to do what she done. To me, she's saying like they know more than everyone else knows. So, and they're still standing behind me. So that's what I take away from that. Now, a lady by the name of Kayla commented and said, Amber, will you and Andrew ever get back together? And Amber read the comment and said, Kayla, no, we will, no, never. She did not mention his name. She never once said Andrew's name that I heard, but she did say, no, not a possibility, not ever, like that's done. She basically said she has come to be okay with that. You know, that it took her a minute to, to get used to that idea and to realize that that was not gonna be the 
the situation between them anymore. Um, and she said, but now she's okay with knowing that that's not going to be a possibility for them anymore. When people talked about, you know, her love life, if she would have a love life. And she said, I'm still young, so I hope that I do meet someone in the future. She says she would like to meet someone that is closer to her. She talked about, you know, traveling to give speeches. Someone asked her about writing a book, at which she said, yeah, she would probably write a book again in the future sometime. She just answered a bunch of questions, you guys. Some of them were really good questions. Some of them really just kind of what, like whatever. And then there was the occasional hater that got on that would say something, you know, kind of out of line. With the allegations against Amber, she, you know, unfortunately, She's been attacked and there were people that hopped on the live stream tonight to kind of last night to kind of attack her. So, but she was very like cool. Like she never seemed to let any of it really bother her. And now like, I'm going to say this. I don't want to sound like there was a lot of mean and rude comments or there was like a lot of trolls, you know, hating on her and, because it really wasn't the whole time I was watching. There was just a few, you know, there was just a few that would say things here and there. And she would just say, if you're here for negativity, like, leave. Because I'm not buying into it, you guys. So, she basically did touch on the relationship. She said it was done. It was over with. Um, someone asked her about her house. And, like, while she's not there, they actually asked her, who's living in your house? And she said, right now, I'm letting others live in my house because... I'm doing it for my son and as a mother that's what you do you sacrifice so your kids can have what they need so she's basically saying that at the time she's letting andrew live there with the baby i guess so they have a place to live while they're here but i do think it's actually set up to the courts that it has to be that way i guess maybe she could fight it i don't really know like legally what would have to happen but i do think because he's like the victim in the alleged abuse um and he is the one that has the baby i think possibly he would end up with the house anyways until he does decide what he's going to do and you know he did file a motion to move back to um california and there was actually a few people on the live stream from california the first person that like brought up california was like hey, sending love from California. And Amber was like, oh, California. And then she was like, no, 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 no. I love California. I love California. But you could tell that when she first heard California, it kind of hit her to where she was like, oh, oh my God, I hate that. I hate that. And I just think it's not necessarily that she hates California. Obviously, she did come back and say that she don't. But I think it obviously reminded her of the fact that her son could possibly be living there one day. That Andrew would possibly take off with the baby to California and that's where she may actually have a son grow up, you know. Um, so I kind of think that's probably what went through her head when she heard California. Um, but she did quickly come back and say like, oh no, no, I don't hate California. There's just like, you know, she tried very hard not to go into too many details. And she did say like when people would ask her certain questions, she would be like, you guys know, I can't answer some of these things. But she was very polite the entire time, even with the haters, even with like people that would post like crazy things. Um, she never really seemed to get out of line the whole time. She just seemed like she was trying to be positive. So that is what it is, you guys. I watched the whole live stream and that was my takeaway from it. She said she is, you know, doing karate. She is still seeing her doctors. She says she doesn't need rehab, but she says she is fine. She's accepted what has happened she also says in the video that she's accepted like accountability for what she done so i'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is that she is saying is she done because we don't know but hopefully we will find that out tomorrow on the team mom reunion you guys and if you don't have someone to watch it with or if you don't have a way to watch it tune in with me tomorrow i will be live on youtube at 9 p.m central time and we can watch it together all right everyone hope you have a good night goodbye